So we're parked down at the uh, the old Dungeon Guild in uh, Langdale today, uh, and we're going to have a walk up uh, Winnieside Falls. So we just come across the field over the bridge, and then go ahead down to Stoolen Farm. We've watched a few times the very very excellent uh, Eric Warnsley's video on this walk. But the first part of the walk is on the tarmac up to the farm and then we've got to walk through the farm. So we drove down from Penrith uh, down to Langdale. And I'll tell you something, what a buggy journey. And the road just got smaller and smaller and smaller. Oh, Mrs. Metal Man's still shaking, I think. <laughs> Mind you, she's not the only one. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> it's some small dainty feet. Not the big bloody flippers like I've got. <laughs> not dirty. So we've got a clearly signposted path there. I've got to follow Mrs. Metman in case there's any wild cows about. So you have to walk right through the farm. No cycling. No chance with my bloody knees. And so far, a very, very pleasant, quiet walk. In forecast, light rain showers all day. Having said that, it's a little bit colder, so plenty of gear with us. Now we're starting to climb a bit before long, we'll be coming off, no doubt. I printed off from Eric's uh, video this map, and so far it's been excellent. Well, it's literally about three minutes out of the farm there now, and walking around here, and there's not a soul for miles. Yeah, fair enough, it's a Monday morning, a lot of people are at work, but uh, the good news is I'm not one of them. <laughs> oh, I could walk through here for miles. I mean, the scenery up there, the mist on the top of the hills, a little bit of snow still up there. It looks absolutely fabulous. So if you like uh, Mrs. Metal Man and you prefer a nice low level flat walk, this is the walk for you. The sun has tried its hardest to peep through. I'll tell you the way Mrs. Metal Man keeping up there. Quite a good Oh, she's looking back for us. Whenever I get that look, I think uh, she's getting a bit chilly. She wants me to catch up. Having said that, at the end of the day, I don't want her to catch a chill. I'd never read the end of it if she did. has been very clearly marked and obviously Eric's video helps like as well as well as Eric's I've seen uh, Sean the Cumbrian camper he came up here with his dog Pip in horrendous conditions and I've seen Jim a uh, solo hiker and his lovely wife there came up and did this walk on a really nice day but apart from that there's very very few videos of this walk but these views are stunning. This is the first bridge which we're going to ignore. But the route we are taking is down there, so the path's getting a little bit rougher there now. walk so yeah, thank you Eric for this and we've got uh, the bonus of the waterfall to look forward to yet but we'll be stopping for a bit of lunch a oh, very soggy walking across here maybe we should have stuck down to the river a bit more but so down here somewhere there'll be another bridge we'll cross that and about a quarter of a mile away should be the waterfall Metal man just said, How the heck we're going to get over that? <laughs> so we're stuck. <laughs> Where's Eric when you need him? <laughs> so, this is obviously the rocky gorge you've got to get across. So, what we've decided to do 
is wait for this couple to come past see which way they go over uh, if they're still alive at the end of it we'll go across the same way yeah, so the mistake we made we were up on the path at the top Mrs Metalman decided she wanted to go lower down I foolishly followed her <laughs> so we should have stopped up higher I think because that other couple was just stepped straight across the top so a nice little scramble up there <laughs> which Mrs Metalman really enjoyed she's loving it <laughs> well I see the cloud up there and the bit of snow up there looks absolutely fantastic and again the sun's trying its hardest to peep through so a very gentle crossing place here <laughs> So we were trying to cross down there. We won't make that mistake again. And what a glorious sight. The mountains as well as Mrs. Metal Man. Oh, the sun coming out there now, isn't that lovely? And that's per Eric's instructions second bridge and then we take a right there so i reckon five minutes we'll be sat down troughing lovely so that's the path over there so a little bit rough and i remember as eric's saying you just got to watch your feet going around there and he's definitely right so well, Mrs. Metal Man's decided uh, not to take Eric's advice and take the path there. I think she wants to go to the top of them uh, that ridge and look down on it. So all we've got to do is follow the river round because obviously the river is being fed by the waterfall. Hey, we'll come back here. Next time I think I'm going to get a, a pair of reins for Mrs. Metal Man, I think. So I can keep a hold of her. Absolutely fantastic sight it is. Only side course. Not man just on the brick there. Uh, the rock's a bit slippy. The grass is a bit slippy. But she's still got a good view. And what a view it is. Imagine this in the middle of the summer. What a magnificent sight that is. Well, I've wanted to do this walk for ages, ever since I've seen Eric's video. And uh, just like you said, we've got here nobody about. In fact, all the way from the old Dunkin' Gill, we've already seen two people. That is absolutely superb. We're going to have to come back here. And I'll, I'll guarantee, that is a promise, I will be in there. And unfortunately, the rain's starting to come down there now. I was feeling a little bit uh, nervous. With it, the rock being wet and the, the ground being wet, and it was you're on a bit of a slant. Like I did say to her, as long as you take your time, watch where you put your feet, take small steps, I mean, it's impossible to slip and fall. I haven't said that. Five seconds later, I slipped and fell. And that's the only place we went wrong, actually. So when you hit that wall there, you need to climb up a bit. But Mrs. Metal Man will know for next time. <laughs> yeah, what a really good walk out that was. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'll be back there again. Definitely in the summer and definitely for a swim. So many thanks to Eric, Eric Wernsley, uh, for this, uh, for his video, which was very, very good. If you've never watched Eric's channel, you want to have a look. And I'll put a link in the description. So we've had a fantastic two days away. Really enjoyed it. And as always, thank you very much for watching.